All right, so at this point in our application, we can go ahead and search for uh, an artist and they'll pop up down here. Click on one, takes us to the artist page, which is the artist component, and it gives us the name. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to have an area up here where we have the name and a heading and we have the Im an image and the genres. And then down here, we want to be able to fetch the albums from the API and list those as well. All right, so let's first go to the HTML file, artist.component.html, and we're gonna change up a few things here. So we're gonna get rid of that. And let's see, we're going to add a header here. And I'm gonna give this a class of artist header. All right, and then inside that header, we're going to have an image. Now, not all artists will have an image, so we have to do a conditional here. So we're going to put a div, and then we're going to do ng if. And what we want to do is check to see if there's anything in the images array. So we can say artist.images, and we want the first one, so zero. Um, actually, no, we don't need that yet. We're just testing. So artist images dot length. If it's greater than zero, that means there's an image. All right. Now, if there's an image, we want to display it. So let's say image. We'll give it a class of artist dash thumb. And let's also let's make it a circle. We can do that with bootstrap. So we'll give it a class image circle. And then for the source attribute, we're going to put in our curly braces. And let's say artist dot images. And then we want the first one, so the zero index, and then dot URL. And that should give us the image. So let's go ahead and save that. And we're going to have to go back to localhost 3000 and reload and then search again and we'll click on that and now you can see we get the image now that's way too big we're gonna fix that in the CSS but I just wanna get the rest of the header done first alright so under the header we're going to I'm sorry not under the header within it under the image we want to put an h1 and that's gonna have the artist name All right, and then I also want to um, get the genres. First thing we want to do, though, is test to see if there are genres, because not all of them have them. So we're going to say ng if. OK, so ng if artist.genres.length is greater than 0. Then we want to, we'll say genres, and then we want to have a span, and we want to loop through the array of genres that's offered. So let's say artist, oh, no, we don't want to do that. We want to do an ng4, and in here we'll say let artist of artist.genres. All right, and then in here, we just want to say genre. All right, so let's save that. I'm going to have to go back and reload. And we get the title. Okay, genres aren't showing up. Uh, let's see, let, oh, this needs to be genre. There we go. All right, so now let's go to the CSS file. So styles.css. And let's see, what are we going to add here? We want the artist header. So for that, we're going to add padding bottom 20 and then margin bottom 20. And let's do border bottom which will be solid one pixel and let's make it a dark gray. OK, 
Okay, and then we're going to do the artist thumb. So for that, let's set a width of 80 pixels. We're going to set height auto and let's float it to the left and then we'll do margin right and that's going to be 10 pixels. All right, so let's go check that out. And there we go, there's our header. So that looks pretty good. Now what we want to do is we need to fetch the albums for the artist. So to do that, we're going to add another service function. So let's go to our Spotify service. I'm going to copy get artist. And then we're going to change it to get albums. All right. Now we need another property up here for albums URL. And this is actually going to be the artist ID that comes in. Just so we don't get confused, I'm going to change that to artist ID. All right, and then let's change this to albums URL. And then all we need to do here is change this to artist ID since we changed it. And then it needs to go to slash albums. So we're going to concatenate slash albums. And then just change this to albums. Okay, so that should do it. Let's save it. Now we'll go back into the artist component. And let's see, we're going to copy this right here. And let's paste that in like that. And we're going to change this to get albums. And change this to albums. Okay, now when this comes back, it's actually going to be in an array called items. So we want to say albums.items. And we'll save that. And then let's go back into the HTML. And we want to stay within the div, but outside of the header. And let's put a div, give it a class of artist albums. And in here, we're going to have a row. And let's do an ng4 because we need to loop through the albums. So this will be let album of albums. All right, and then here, just to test it out, let's say album.name. Save that. Okay. And there we go. We get a list of all of the albums. So that's the functionalities there. Now we just need to style this, style this a little bit. We want to get the images. So what we'll do uh, right here is let's create another div. And let's give it a class of call MD3. Okay, so we want a couple three column divs, and that'll have the album image images inside. All right, so in here, let's actually put another div, and we're going to give it a class of well, which will give it a background, and also a class of album. All right, and then let's do. Uh, we're going to have to test to see if there's an image because not all of them have images. So we'll do ng if. And let's say uh, if album dot images dot length is greater than zero. Then we want to show the image. Give it a class of album dash thumb and also image dash thumbnail, which is a bootstrap class. And then for the source, 
Um, for the source, we're going to put in our curly braces and then say album dot images zero dot URL. All right, let's go ahead and save that. And there we go, we get all the, the album images. And don't worry about the styling yet, we'll take care of that after. So under the image, we're gonna have the album name, let's put it in H4. And then under that, we're gonna have a, a, a link or a button or a link that looks like a button. And let's see, we're gonna say, actually that doesn't need an A tag. Right now, let's just have it go nowhere because what it's gonna do is go to an album page that we're gonna create in the next video. So let's give it a class of BTN, BTN default, and BTN block. All right, and then let's say album, details okay and then let's just add the CSS now whoops let's go to style CSS and let's say dot artist uh, artist albums dot well and we're gonna set a margin bottom of 20 pixels let's set an overflow of auto and I want to set a minimum height of 400 pixels all right and then let's see the album itself let's do text align center give it a background of gray dark gray padding We'll say 10, 20, and then a border, gray, one pixel solid. All right, and then let's say dot album thumb. I want to set that width to 100%. All right, and I also want to add a border around the main div that we created. So right up here, let's say dot main border. Actually, I just want it on the bottom. All right, save that. Now you can see we have that border. And let's search. And there we go. Okay, so we have each album details isn't going to do anything yet. We're going to get to that in the next video.